Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, it's been a really, really long time since we did this, but guess what we finally get to do today? Another day in the life vlog, and this time with the Google Pixel 6a. So this is supposed to be like the best budget phone of the year, and it retails for 449 USD or 599 CAD, and honestly, that's a really good price considering the features you're getting with this phone. And so basically today, we're gonna put this phone through its paces, test out the battery life, test out the cameras, and more importantly, the experience. So basically, you're gonna spend the day with me, and we're gonna go have a blast. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, I'm finally filming my day in the life vlog with the Pixel 6a. Say hi if you wanna be in the video. Alright, because I'm not working at Costco all day today and today's my day off, I like to start my morning with some adrenaline, which is in the form of a workout. And the reason why is during the school year, I didn't sleep well, I ate so much, I had a really bad lifestyle, so like I gained 40 pounds, which is quite a lot, and I'm still really unhealthy now. So for this school year, my goal is to eat healthily, so I'm actually doing, I'm actually calorie counting my food and eating at a calorie restriction, and also I'm gonna try to work out at least every two days to maintain like a healthy life so yeah that's what I'm trying to do for this school year and let's hope I can stick to it and if you're wondering what workout program I'm doing I'm following one from this youtuber called Jeremy Ethier which seems pretty reputable and pretty awesome so I'm gonna try it out and hopefully it's pretty good also like I'm new to the gym so I'm pretty weak and my form is probably horrible so yeah you're, I'm probably gonna get killed in the comments <laughs> but anyways let's get working out Uh-oh, not sure if it's my screen protector or something on the screen, but the button doesn't work. My screen's completely frozen. Yikes. Same thing happened with my Pixel 6. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. Ah. Oh, that was a pretty exhausting workout and I'm pretty sure I did everything wrong, but hey, I think we did pretty well. So like we spent an hour and 15 minutes, that's with filming, which is why it took so long, and we burned a total of 564 calories, which is amazing. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna go make some breakfast, and we should get started with our day because it's like 10 o'clock now. I'm like way behind schedule. Alright, while I'm enjoying my smoothie, let's address some of the controversies surrounding the Pixel 6a, the display and the fingerprint sensor. So for the display, it all started when Marquez Brownlee in his Pixel 6a review said that the 60Hz display was one of the choppiest displays he's ever used in his 10 plus years of reviewing smartphones. And he did that while he was comparing it on screen with the 120Hz display of the iPhone 13 Pro, which is over double the price of the Pixel 6a. Now that is complete BS because first of all, why are you comparing the features of a budget phone against like a high-end flagship? And second of all, I think Pixel 
Pixel UI has one of the smoothest and fastest experiences out of all the Android skins on the market. And of course, all the MKBHD fanboys start going on social media and trashing on this phone without even trying it in the first place. And they keep saying that, oh my god, the 60 hertz, the screen is unbearable, it's terrible, it's giving me a headache, I'm returning it right away. I'm like, come on, that doesn't make any sense, because first of all, before 90 hertz and 120 hertz refresh rate screens were introduced to smartphones, we've all used 60 hertz before, and we've never had an issue with that, so why now? And why specifically the Pixel? So, that just infuriates me a lot, you know? Alright, let me prove it to you. Look how incredibly smooth all these animations are, and even opening apps, like, they're just all silky smooth, and there's no lag whatsoever. As for the performance of the fingerprint sensor, I'd actually say it's much improved over the Pixel 6 from launch, as it reads like my finger like 95% of the time, and I do have a tempered screen protector on, and my fingers are really dry, so not bad Google, not bad. Alright, that's enough talking, I gotta go study for my differential equations exam that I have later this month, and then we gotta go cook some lunch, cause I'm starving, and we still got a ton of stuff to do today, so bye! Alright, I just painfully did over like an hour and a half of studying, and it's 1.25 right now, so I better get going to the rest of my plans for today, and also to go cook some lunch, because I'm starving right now. But for that, we should check on the battery life, because we haven't done that yet today. So, looking at my screen on time for today, it shows that I have 1 hour and 16 minutes of screen on time, and I'm at 71% battery life, which, you know, isn't that great to be honest, and I was expecting a little more, but we'll see how the battery progresses throughout the rest of the day. But, uh, let's go cook lunch! That was absolutely disgusting. When I opened up the chicken package, the chicken smelled horrible and it was rotten, so I immediately ran out of my apartment and just tossed it down the garbage chute. So I guess I'm eating broccoli and potatoes for lunch today, and uh, I'm not very happy, so I'm gonna go get my money back from HelloFresh. I knew those 40% off coupons were too good to be true. <sighs> Welp, time to eat my half meal. I guess it doesn't hurt to lose some weight as well. Hopefully the broccoli and potatoes are decent, at least. Ah, oh, I should have just cooked myself. <laughs> Alright, that's enough sadness, Hungry Fenton. It's time to learn about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, which is the best way to spend your lunches alone. Alright, if you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you learn, explore, and discover new skills, and it's honestly changed my life. When I first started this YouTube channel, one of my first purchases online was a Skillshare subscription, and with it, I spent many nights binging courses for kickstarting my first YouTube channel from big YouTubers like Marquez Brownlee, to other courses on studying and being productive from Ali Abdal, and even cooking to make myself more enjoyable meals. And the best part about Skillshare is that there's so many high quality classes from different categories that you'll always have something to learn once you master a specific skill. It's absolutely amazing for exploring new hobbies, kickstarting your own side hustles like me, and also finding new ways to improve your own lifestyle. And if you want to change your life for the better, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. You definitely won't regret it. Alright, back to the vlog. Woo! All right, so, oh my God, I almost got hit by a tree. Uh, basically, I'm running to UPS store right now so I can pick up some packages, and then I gotta run to the bank afterwards so I can go deposit some checks and cash and stuff I sold. But uh, hey, while we're walking there, we might as well take some photos and videos of this phone.
This place is super popular. I've never tried it before, but everyone says it's amazing. So, you know, I gotta try it during the school year because lineup's always really long on this one. Hey, it's the only good bubble tea store in Kingston. Cha time. Oh, I want some right now, but I'm too fat, so I can't have any. You have arrived at your destination. Let's go in. Packages secured. Let's go. All right, so good news. I think my aunt's M2 MacBook Air came, so uh, we're gonna be able to unbox that tonight with you guys, which will be super duper exciting. And also, oh my God, it's almost four o'clock and I'm like three hours behind schedule. The bank closes at five o'clock and it's all the way at the mall, which I have to take the bus for, so we better get running. I know Stabilization I test. I look like an absolute idiot right now. And guess what I forgot to bring outside? An ND filter, so now everything is blown out and I can't use my camera outside. Great! Putting this in my backpack like that seems a little scary. Maybe I should have brought like a camera bag or something? Alright, so lucky for us, it's 4.50 something right now, so we just made it to the bank on time. Alright, I just finished depositing my stuff, and there's like nothing really to do in this mall since it's tiny, and there's like no stores to shop around, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Starbucks, and then I'm gonna go do some scripting or some video editing until I feel like I want to leave. And uh, yeah, I also am really tired, so I want some caffeine. Alright, so before we get some coffee, let's do a little battery check because we haven't done one in a while. So it looks like I've used the phone for around three hours of screen on time, and there is still 31% left on this phone. So I think that's pretty decent so far and should last me through the whole night, but I guess we'll see because the day is far from over. Alright, I just left Starbucks because it's 8 o'clock now and the mall's closing, so I gotta go home. And while we wait for the bus, I want to show you guys one of my favorite features about the Pixel 6 series. So the feature I'm talking about is the awesome voice dictation on this phone, which is all made possible thanks to the Google Tensor chip. And it's way better than traditional voice typing on keyboards because it's way faster and more accurate as well. So let me show you an example over here. 
Yes, the Pixel 6a is a much better buy than the S22 in terms of battery life and its price as well. And if you're willing to trade off some of the premium hardware features of the S22, then you should definitely go to the Pixel 6a and save some money as well. Thanks for watching! Look at how good that is. And before I forget, that's say hi to all the people who've commented on my Twitter post. A lot of them are awesome YouTubers as well, so you should go check them out if you have the chance to. And yes, you just got Rickrolled on this page right now. Alright, I'll see you guys at home. Alright, I'm finally home and it's like 9.15 right now, so I'm absolutely exhausted from filming all day. But hey, the Pixel 6a survived with just enough juice to last me throughout the whole day. Alright, so as you can see, my battery percentage is at 3% and my total screen on time for the entire day was 4 hours and 20 minutes. So this is honestly not that great and it's a little disappointing for me, but keep in mind that this is my first week and adaptive battery is supposed to kick in and improve the battery life in the coming weeks. But honestly, 4 hours and 20 minutes still, it still managed to last me through the whole day and in my opinion, it performed a little better than the Pixel 6 and S22. So yeah, not bad considering that I was outside a lot today, but not great either. I was going to end my night by doing some Uber Eats deliveries on my bike, but honestly, I'm way too exhausted for that and we got something better. We get to unbox my aunt's M2 MacBook Air together instead, which is definitely way more fun. But let me just get settled and get some food before we start unboxing the thing, because I'm starving and I'm also exhausted. A few moments later. Alright, I'm finally back, time for the long-awaited unboxing of this thing, and uh, we're also going to make a TikTok unboxing on the phone as well. So unfortunately, we ran into the same exact issue as the Pixel 6 when I had it at launch. So I've been recording the unboxing for the MacBook for like maybe 15 minutes now, and it says that the device is too hot and I have to close the camera to let it cool off, which is honestly a little frustrating. Alright, it's pretty late into the night now, and I'm really, really tired, so I think it's time to say goodnight to this day in life vlog. And I think we got through everything we wanted to do today. But uh, anyways, as you may have seen from this entire video, the Pixel 6a is definitely a beast, and especially at 449, there's like nothing much I can really complain about, so it gets two big fat thumbs up from me. Also, if you have any questions about the Pixel 6a, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Alright, that basically wraps up my vlog and I really hope you guys enjoyed my day in life. And if you want to see more day in lives in the future with newer devices, definitely go smash that like and subscribe button so you won't miss out on those. And on that note, good night, sleep well, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.